And after Petrova had taken out Serena Williams, Davenport taking out Petrova. So it's Moresmo against Davenport in the final. The number three seed against the number four seed. And it's Simon Reid alongside Sam Smith to take you through this final. Sam, it should be some match. Yeah, so what you do have here is you're going to get a high-quality final. We should have a high-quality match because both these women vastly experienced have been in this situation many times before and both playing very well and will get into this situation. That's how it's shaken down. More or less the last eight we thought we might have, but uh, then things started to happen. Petrova taking out Serena Williams, Davenport beating uh, Paula Suarez. And then in the semi-finals, Moresmo beating Justine and uh, Davenport taking out Petrova. The head-to-head -head between the two of them, 6-3 in Davenport's favor, and she's won the last three in a row in straight sets. They were to have met in Indian Wells last year. Davenport won that because Moresmo pulled out injured, but before that, Davenport won three matches straight away in New Haven. 6-4, 6-4, then in uh, Filderstadt, 6-4, 6-2, then at New Haven, 2002, won that 7-6, 6-3. Before that was pretty much even Stevens, but Davenport seems to have her number at the moment. There the list of winners, no Serena Williams, Elena Dementieva winning last year, Venus the year before. Then Moresmo in 2001. Then Monica Sellers, Mary Pierce, and Lindsay Davenport back in 97. Davenport, the runner up last year to Elena Dementieva. So the stadium here beginning to fill up and it should be jam-packed when the match gets underway. So a lot of pretty extraordinary results this week. Is that a sign, do you think, Sam, of uh, the top players just coming off their peak? Is it the sign of the lesser-ranked players making the final move they need to to get to the top? Or is it just coincidence? Could be a little bit of all that. Certainly Serena Williams, I think it was had a very emotional week winning in Miami. It's always tough when you come back hard to come out here on clay where she has to hit a few more balls. So she was a little bit vulnerable, but the young ones are, are really playing some great tennis now. So that's the uh, money in store here. $93,000 for the winner. Forty-seven. This on $48,000 for the loser. Decent points as well. But uh, these two will be very confident. Some very big wins here. Lindsay, that was a significant win beating Petrova from a set down after Petrova, who would have been on a high after beating Serena. Yes, I think that also will slightly be the key for Amelie Moresma. How is she going to react after beating Justine and an Arden? She used to beating some pretty big players, but uh, how will she react physically? Because, yes, she's in great shape, but when you've had three months off and you've had a big tough match like that you know you're, you're going to be a little sore the next day so she needs to get into this match very quickly it's the eighth Amelia Island for Davenport champion in 97 where she beat Mary Pierce and the runner-up last year losing to Elena Dementieva and the fifth Amelia Island tournament for Amelie Moresmo Champion in 2001 when she beat Amanda Kutzer. Well, it really is an extraordinary comeback from uh, Moresmo, who we saw absolutely uh, beside herself in Australia when she had to pull out of that match against Fabiola Zuluaga with that muscle strain when she was looking so good and the tournament seemed to be opening up for her. And then she missed all these tournaments, six tournaments, including Miami last week, making her comeback right here.
And then to Davenport's another woman that's made quite a few comebacks in her career. It just shows you these really top women can get back on track very quickly. They're, they are a class above everyone else outside the top ten. Yes, and Serena Williams beaten this week, but we saw her the week before in Miami, just absolutely devastating. Looked in terrific next straight away. And Lindsay Davenport, she's only lost three times this year, all to Justine Ann and Arden, so has had a pretty good year. Don't ever write her off. I think a lot of people want to write Lindsay Davenport off. Emily Maresma, runner-up in Sydney. In fact, she's only just lost one match this year. Also to Justine and then Arden. And there is her list, quarter-final Australian. Of course, she pulled out of that tournament with the injury and really looked to be in the best shape of her life. Of course, with Emily, it's a, a little bit of an unknown story in Grand Slams because so far, I have to say that... Uh, in the, the, the final shakedown, she hasn't given of her best for whatever reason, but it looks like at the moment, or up until now, she's not been able to deliver. So you're never sure, but she looked in fantastic form in Australia. It, it's all about conquering the nerves and becoming a better plan. The more she gets into big finals, wins more tournaments, eventually she'll find herself in a situation in the slam where she's playing the, the right tennis when she's relaxed and that was a key feature of her match yesterday against NNR then because she'd been out for three months didn't probably expect too much of herself and, and really started to produce great tennis and the, talk about the back injury she slightly changed her serve slightly modified the action uh, used to be a rather sort of a tortured delivery and uh, looks a little smoother now and that held up pretty well so a lot of good signs this year for Moresmo so it's hot here in northern Florida, 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Did a bit of cloud cover. The crowd really making themselves at home here. Obviously, there'll be a lot of support for Davenport. Very popular right across the USA, but Maresma is one of those characters who doesn't make any enemies wherever she goes. Yes. A lot of fans enjoy the way she plays. She was really ripping those backhands yesterday. Here's their run through from the quarterfinals. Moresmo beating Akiko Morigami. And they're on. Then the qualifier, Barbara Strikova. Then Sylvia Forina Elia. And then Justine Enenarden in the semi. Lindsay, by the first round, then beat Sun Tian Tian of China. 6 2, 7 5. Then Alicia Mollick of Australia. 6 4, 7 5. Then Paula Suarez. Pretty easily. And then that. Uh, Big match against Nadia Petrova. And in the end, she won it going away. It was very tight for a while, but it was a 6 one third set. She was stamping her authority by the time it ended. As she likes to do. So we've got a situation here where hopefully both women are playing extremely good tennis. They've had a couple of tight matches to really tune them up. And they're both confident and ready to go. Doesn't Lindsay look in terrific physical, Nick? Well, she's obviously meaning to do some business this year. She's got a new physical trainer. She's really settled down with her new coach, Adam Peterson, who she started working with about 12 months ago. And I actually felt this time last year she started to play really good tennis and then slightly got sidetracked. She got married straight after this tournament. And uh, I think also that sort of settled everything down now for her. She's got used to that situation. I think she means business this year. Physical trainer Todd Norman. Yeah, it really is a, a full-time job just keeping these two women on court. A whole army of doctors, physios and healers yes. required to get them out here. But here they are. And there's that new service action from Moresmo. Yes, it's the first time I've seen it. And it, it is quite a transformation, isn't it? I guess it's to take pressure away from the back. Yeah, well... I, I always felt that it was a really tortured movement she had there. And it, and it did let her down in big moments when she got very nervous. I guess the less of a service action you've got, the less there is to go wrong. Very much like Justine Ennan did a few years ago. As well as the fact that uh, someone like Ennan has made some big changes to her game sort of gives the other the women confidence that maybe it'll help them. But certainly, she couldn't carry on as she was with that back injury. Sometimes think with Marisma, these injuries are more than physical. It's all the tension that she builds up in her body. 
Well, it looks like the women's game is beginning to shape up again after, well, there have been a few months where the leading players have been out for whatever reason. Some of them uh, we knew about, some of them we weren't quite sure about. But um, it, it really does look like now that the major guns are going to be firing on all cylinders for the clay court season. So final preparations, and then we're ready to go. Few seats to be filled, but we're just about on your marks here for Anne Moresmo of France, the number three seed, against Lindsay Davenport, the number four seed. Lindsay aiming for her second title of this year, runner-up in Indian Wells, a winner in Tokyo. In her third final, Emily, of course, out for so much of the year, got to the final in Sydney. Couldn't make that final effort there. Straight sets it was against Justine. But uh, what can she do here? So it's the French woman to begin. Bad start. Sighter. Sometimes can be a bit of a slow starter, getting uh, all the limbs in perfect unison. And that's one to forget. the danger from Davenport. Mesmo hits the ball with a lot of spin which kicks up but doesn't really affect the six foot two Lindsay Davenport. She's got plenty of time on this court if she can get to the ball and no problems with the power either. Yes, Marisa taking the game. Davenport, although she hit a couple of pretty good shots, looked a little sluggish there, a little slow to respond a couple of times. Well, that will really be the key for Marismo. She's got the spin. She can create a lot of angle on this court, and she really can get Davenport moving. Phil Davenport will really look to just try and dominate every point as early as possible so that she doesn't have to move. But that will be the, the main battle out here.
it was a good move in from that by Davenport, closing it down well. Not the easiest of rollies, had to play it around her knees. You mentioned her ambition to try and shorten points and dominate from the start. The serve is going to be crucial in that. Yes, because particularly if she gets the first serve in, then she can hopefully get round, wheel onto that big forehand and, and get Maresma on the back of these points. Just feel the longer the points go on, the more it favours Amelie Moresmo. a really good forehand from Davenport. And in contrast to Justin Ennan yesterday, Davenport just waiting one or two more extra balls before going in for the kill, being aggressive but just not overcooking it. Slightly overcooked that one. Just wants it checked though. It did look out. Here's a, a key point here. Break point. Forehands from Davenport have saved her bacon in this game so far. But it hasn't been the serve. Control rally from Davenport, as you say, again, she seemed to be in control of the final shot, knew what she wanted to do, but seemed uh, never a chance she was going to miss with it. Yes, did well defending the point as well, and then managed to turn it around. I feel it's going to be battle of the backhands out here. That is both the strength of both women. Good footwork, allowing herself to swing there. That's good stuff from Lindsay Davenport. Worked really hard to hold on there. All sorts of questions being asked. really aggressive in that second serve. As you can see, the court surface has just really been watered just before the knock-up, so it's a little heavier at the moment. The ball will be a bit slower. It'll be a little bit harder to get through the court. But her forehand's working extraordinarily well at the moment. 
not the biggest fan of the Dunbolt forehand, but so far so good. With the forehand down the line, I'm okay with it. It's the, the little hook the across court. lasso effort. Mm. So one double each. And with the court surface being so wet, what will happen is the ball's set up a little bit more for Davenport, and Resmo can't really get so much work on the ball. I think as it dries out, I think it'll be harder for Davenport to take the ball so late. And the cracking serve. So it's really hurting Marismo in this game. It's Davenport really taking full advantage. So the first of the two break points. Him indeed, Lindsay Davenport, a little slow to get off the blocks, but she's uh, in full flight now and leads 2-1. Solutions for producing, transmitting, and distributing the energy the world needs. Whirlpool presents the WTA Tour. So the first of the tournaments on the green clay, of course, soon we'll be switching to Europe and the red clay. Green clay just a, a little bit quicker. Bounce not so high. Yeah, there's a little bit more top dressing on it. Um, I always feel red clay can play very differently in different countries, but uh, Davenport would certainly be more comfortable in the green clay because she would have grown up playing a little, mostly on hard courts, but she would have had a fair amount of time on the green clay, and I think that's why she did well here last year and has won this tournament. Looks very comfortable at the moment. And Maresmo would like this surface as well. Yeah, very happy. Plays well on hard. Yeah, I think very comfortable with the movement on clay, particularly Maresmo. Not quite so much Davenport. Hear the grunt from Lindsay when she hit that one. Eager on looker. He's just started to smile. He was trying not to smile the guy next to him.
Always a danger with such a big shot as, as her backhand is that she's going to get miss hits. Yes, when you come over the ball so, so extremely, that's what we'll have. We just catch a little look at her coach, Louis Cotto, just behind the scoreboard there. It's rather unusual place for the coaching camp to sit. I, I can never work out why more coaches don't sit behind. Because you don't see anything on, from the side of the no. court. And yet so many coaches do. <laughs> it's extraordinary. Yeah, they usually sit behind the umpire's chair because if they want to give a little signal to the player, then the umpire can't see it. Got that one absolutely right. Had to play it very high. Just when Marisma has to keep the ball away from the Davenport backhand for as long as she can during the points. Disappointing there. Davenport, little hook. Half court, and there was a chance there for Maresma. Yeah, that wasn't good. Rather feeble effort at the end of that game from Amelie Maresma. Big game now. She has to step up to the plate and hold here, otherwise this first set looks like it's going to be history. And Lindsay must be feeling pretty confident to go for that kind of shot so early on in this match. It's very relaxed out here, there's Davenport. She looks as if she's enjoying her tennis again. There was a period last year where, I agree with you, she was looking pretty good, but there were times when she was looking very moody and as if she'd rather be somewhere else. Don't get that impression at all now. No, she looks hungry. I think she's really set out her goals this year. As I said, got used to being married, changing coach. It's all kind of settling down. And had a bit of a breather, probably from the Williams sisters being away and some of the other girls being injured. I think she didn't she didn't like going out quarterfinals, semis of tournaments. She's still winning. Good too many mistakes coming off the Moresmo forehand now. This is nothing that makes a player more grisly than someone that's won a lot of matches in their career, a lot of titles, and they're not at the end of the tournament every week. I think that was the big problem. the serve invited it mm -hmm. a little wrist work from Lindsay and she's in pole position again two more break points needed just the one two games ago she thinks she's going to come in behind that yes. so it doesn't look strong and uh, Davenport certainly does look pretty strong indeed. And she leads now 
broken. A strong unibody construction means there's no weak link in our chain. Hyundai, always there for you. So Sam and I have been full of theory in the minute you've been away as to why Moresmo might be playing as she is at the moment. And, and, and it's a combination, really, of physical and uh, mental letdown after, well, 24 hours after her match against Justine, which was a fantastic performance. Yeah, it was. She did play extremely well. I think surpassed expectations. To me, she looks a little flat. But all credit to Davenport. Davenport's come out swinging away. Moresmo has not made a move enough and has just not got enough balls in court to make this a competitive first set. That's what she needs, but it's the forehand, really, that's uh, leaking the points. But that'll do her a lot of good. And all that patience you were talking about, and we were witnessing from Lindsay earlier on in this match. Doesn't seem to be there at the moment. In one respect, it's not a bad idea for Lindsay just to keep going for her shots because she doesn't really want to play Moresmo into this first set. The, the shorter the rallies, the better. Yeah. So it's really, she's four and up. It really is worth a pop. Don't often see the drop shot from Davenport, but that was just the right time. Yeah, I always think that Lindsay Davenport's like the head girl at school, giving the first year a little bit of a lesson when she plays these kind of rallies, because she knows she's going to win the point. It's just that how is she going to do it? Just had so much time there on the ball. And very good hands to it. Underrated aspect of her game. You can see the problems that she was having going to stooping low for that. Never really looked in control. A chance then for Moresmo to get her first break. Had break point in the opening Davenport service game. Easier shot, but she made it look easy. Much better whip from Moresmo. That's just where she's going to score in this match, getting Lindsay out of her comfort zone. Very much in this 4 1 
vantage point. You feel Marissa has to be able to take it to Lindsay Davenport, otherwise she's going to be out of this first set very quickly. She went for a little bit there, but not really with any conviction. I don't really see the, the relaxation in her body language that she had yesterday. Just away. I guess it's understandable. That's, I think, maybe the key point in the match so far, which you just mentioned there, about her body language and she doesn't look relaxed. I guess if she gets into a mindset with Justine, there's nothing to lose. Here she is going to be the, thing, the world's number one. She's been out of the game for three months. Now she's beaten Justine. There's plenty to lose here. Even if you've been out for three months, you've just beaten the number one player in the world. Yeah, she, she's back on tour. She's right back up there, Maresmo's back. That's it. That's what it's all about from Rezo, coping with the pressure of her own expectations. That's a nice way to deal with the tension, just hit your way through it, get the body moving. I thought it might have been long, but Lindsay, no one was closer to it. She just rubs it away, rubs it out of her mind. It was all right. Serving back on track, holds for the first time since the opening game. But it's probably too late to save this set. 5 2. From the 10th to the 13th of June 2004, we'll elect our deputies to the European Parliament. They represent us for five years and decide how to spend the European budget. They adopt laws affecting our daily lives. Decide for Europe. Vote. Good, 5-2. A lot of people have written Lindsay Davenport off at the highest level. We're talking about Grand Slam winner now. Of course, Lindsay not been short of Grand Slam titles herself. Do you think she's a fraction below the very best, the two Belgians and the two Williams, or, or do you think her time could come again? I felt over three sets she was last year. Um, I think she was running them close, but not close enough. I think if she could win straight sets you know get on get a, a good first set lead and, and then get into the second set and finish them off quickly i think she's still competitive she'll certainly mop up if they're not around because she's got the class and the experience to do so serving for this first set here oh it's a nice looking shot just the way as you can see her disappointment she liked the shape of it when she played it I think a lot with Lindsay is, is desire. If she really wants it, that will give her that extra edge. Mm. 
Yes. She was really looking second best there, wasn't she, Marisma? And what you could see from that angle is just how much time Davenport has on the ball. Really good depth again from Davenport. Slightly impatient. Sam's been saying the big shots have mostly been coming off, so it's hardly a bad scoreline. Ten outright winners for Davenport already. And she did well to get it back, but it was still there, wasn't it? Yeah, she feel that's a bad miss. So break point. A real chance here. Not been able to take them so far. That's a super shot. And if one shot deserves to change a match, that's a contender. Well, it really was the last thought, shot you would have thought of in this situation. She does well. She gets it low to Lindsay. Thought possibly she was going to try and whip it down the line. Even with Lindsay's height, not ready for that kind of quality. So at the third attempt, she manages the break. Still a break behind. Had to play very much from behind against NN yesterday. Was set 5-4 match point down at one stage. Yes, well watched. Serving so much better now. What a difference a few first serves make to her game. And she can control the point and actually get Davenport on the move. That really was the only option from there. Clever play from Davenport. Don't often see Davenport play those kind of angles on any other surface. She's revived herself. Can she keep it going? The most important game of the match coming up when you return.
Solutions for producing, transmitting, and distributing the energy the world needs. Whirlpool presents the WTA Tour. So a bit more chatter around the place. The match has come alive, really, as Moresmo has uh, refound some form. And as you say, so much of it is based around the serve and her confidence in her game when the serve is going in. Yeah, it seems to click everything together. I feel she's got a little more rhythm and timing on it. I didn't feel that she would start too quickly out here today. Just simply that the aftermath of the NN Arden match is starting to make Davenport turn a little bit more, which is key. Davenport really struggles to turn well on the clay court. Lindsay needs a serve here. Needs to make it count. And the crowd, uh, just a little more anxiety in their support for her. Serving for the set for the second time. Oh, that is some sensational shot. And she really had to get low to high. Yes, this kind of crowd, they want Lindsay to win, but they want, want a good match out here. And they were a little bit quiet at 5-1. That wasn't what they were looking for. Now, really getting into it. And the first ace of the match. Turn right to the line. Yeah, I still really don't feel that Moresma has been taking these on enough. You see where her court position is in the second serve, still behind the baseline. Not really giving a threat to Lindsay. Davenport there, Moresmo marauding to the net with a pretty decent shot, just battered back. And here's Davenport with her reward, two set points. And that's typical Davenport, sees her opponent raise her game, suddenly providing a threat. And Davenport extinguishes the fire with a prodigious game herself and takes the first set. Six games to four. Sonntag schicken Sie Ihre SMS mit dem Wort Snooker und einem Leerzeichen an die Nummer 82060.
It's a broadcasting revolution with a sports show with no commentary. Mind you, this show has always been out of the loop. It's Watts, the cage for those eye-popping moments caught on camera, the wildest, the weirdest shots of the week. And now the show enters a brave new world, a world without words. Want your videos to be part of it? Find out more at Eurosport.com slash Watts. Watts, every Monday on Eurosport. Welcome back. So the first set to Lindsay Davenport, the number four seed here, 6-4. And of course, just looking down at the head-to-heads, it's been some while since he's dropped a set to Amelie Moresma. Not for four years has she dropped a set. Seven sets in a row now. It's important for Moresma to keep her serving form that the last two service games. Yeah, I think that really is the key. I feel she has to keep herself in the second set, not allow Davenport to get up, you know, any more gears, get ahead, and then really hope that Davenport will have a, a lapse. And she times it, it just races away. Didn't seem to be anything special on that shot. Yep. The further it went, Rizma didn't seem to get any nearer to it. Say what a perfectly constructed rally that was. What a rare sight that was. Lindsay Davenport hardly ever misses a smash. But that whole rally, even though Marissa won it in the end, I just feel there's just not enough aggression from her out here. Oh, that's a fabulous shot. Moresmo came up with a perfect lob in the first set on the forehand, and there, look at this from Davenport. Underrated part of her game, the great hands getting under the ball. Big point, this one. gets just the serve. Yeah, to Carissa, I, I always feel with Marismo serving on a clay court, particularly the last few days, she doesn't keep tight lines. She, she opens out the court, serves the forehand a lot. That gives her opponent some opportunities. Got away with it there. See, once again, serving down the tee, giving Davenport the opportunity to strike. Again, it was a decent second serve, but Davenport was onto it in a flash. I mean, personally, that's the key for playing on clay. You only open up the court when you know that you can put something on it. And there, Moresmo just opening up the court the whole time for the returner. Shot again from Davenport, moving well. Davenport, maybe of a couple of years ago, wouldn't have got to that. It would have been a fraction late on it. And the speed is rewarded with a break point. Unlike Lindsay Davenport. Yes, 
so good at generating her own pace. They're just really struggling to lift the ball high enough. So quick onto that forehand. I think surprising Marisma. Second break point. Serving, being taken advantage of there. Davenport looked to be in control. And the scoreline endorses that. And she seems to have the command that she had the midway through the first set. Is, um, the, the girls get balls back that sometimes on a hard court they wouldn't get. And at the same token, I don't get as many balls back on a clay court as I might on a hard court just because I don't really feel like a great natural mover on the clay. I think that the clay sometimes neutralizes some of my shots, takes a little bit of the pace off. Um, so it presents a bigger, uh, a bigger challenge to me out here. Well, she's responding to that challenge pretty well. Standing pretty at the moment. One love in sets and games. And really, Davenport timing the ball so well out here today. She's worked at it. I feel that 6-3 deficit that Maresma has in head-to-heads is, is now starting to hurt her when you're starting to get a set and a breakdown in the match. Oh. Novel tactic there. Of chipping and charging. Oh. Try and take the ball on the rise, Davenport in. Yes, of course, this, this surface does neutralise her power a little bit, but she still has enough power to hit the ball away, to be aggressive. Plays her game on a clay court. So very well today, so far in this match. Second ace. Extends and Davenport, if anything, looks as much in control of this match as she has at any stage. It's going to be a big ask now for Moresmo after all that time out and after such a big win yesterday to come back and do it again. Pretty much so far, so far the best point of the match from Moresmo. Really opened up the shoulders and just went for it. Found the spaces. Put that in your textbook.
Uh, she lost the point, but she's so in command. Part of the Amelia Island plantation around this complex here. really get the sense that Marisma doesn't really know how to beat Davenport out here, how to get herself back in this match. She's just sort of trying a sort of potpourri of everything, chipping and charging, going for it, defending. I think really has worked so far. Just a magnificent rally that from Lindsay Davenport, constantly keeping Maresmo wrong-footed. Here's break point again. And well, it's difficult to be uh, too de decisive in uh, women's tennis, even at this level, but this looks like virtually match point. a chance Good second serve. A oh, brave one at that. I guess at a sudden breakdown, you really have to take a few more risks. There was a chance at Davenport, she wasn't able to take it. And Moresmo still in this match. Body construction means there's no weak link in our chain. Hyundai, always there for you. Some people listen to themselves rather than listen to what others say. These people don't come along very often. But when they do, they remind us that there is no can't, won't, or impossible. They remind us that it's okay to believe. Impossible is nothing. Are you out, son? <laughs> Few seats still to be had at the uh, top there, but around four or five thousand people around the uh, plantation here at Amelia Island. And I think Cameron Moresmo has done them a favour there by holding on. Davenport, well, a couple of years ago, I think she'd be ruining that forehand return that she missed. Could have been three love. But we think the Lindsay of uh, 2004 a little bit more relaxed than that.
Resnick looks like she's starting to turn it on now. Well, when he, she started coming at Davenport in the first set, Davenport replied with a very fine service game. Is she going to do that here? Well, we saw those kind of errors that just allowed Moresmo a little bit of hope in that first set. But now it's absolutely key that Moresmo takes advantage of them right here. And she hasn't had to do too much to be in this position. Can she strike here? Ace number three. Yes, vintage Maresma. Couple of scorches in that game. But no doubt that Davenport took her foot off the accelerator and she may well pay for that. Break point missed in the last game. Didn't really turn up for that game. Yeah, those errors really hurting Davenport in that surface game. Nice for Mresmo to break to love. You'd say almost she's a little bit more in control now. And we know that she has the credentials out here to play some great tennis. Third double. Yeah, that's a big one because I, I was always taught, as so many other players were, the first two points off the break, absolutely key. Don't give them away. Oh. Oh. She's done exactly that. <laughs> Felt yesterday the serve held up very well in the big pressure situations that she was serving when she was match point down in that second set. Didn't see any problems with the serve there. Louis getting a few more lines today. Denport taking advantage, stepping it up. Probably given herself mentally a bit of a kicking in the last couple of minutes. And here are three break points. And that's a gorgeous shot. And it's as you were. Davenport waking up to the situation. Maresmo not quite able to cope with it. And it's 3 2 to the American. From the 10th to the 13th of June, we'll elect our representatives for Europe. On May 1st, the European Union represents 25 states, 450 million people and 30% of the world's wealth. Give a voice to Europe. Vote! Solutions for producing, transmitting, and distributing the energy the world needs. So two breaks to one, three games to two for Davenport and uh, 
two games were very similar in many ways. Server not doing themselves any uh, real good. And the return of Pouncing. Just have a feeling that Andy Moresmo may have let her last chance slip there. Is that how you see it, Sam? Well, I just feel that the player of Lindsay Davenport's stature out here, she's given uh, Moresmo a couple of chances in this match. In the first set, she let her back into it. And here in the second set, she's let her back in. And I can't see Moresmo getting many more. Is he giving the court a rather dismal look? And really, the only way I feel Moresmo is going to get back in is, is if... Davenport continues just to miss the lines as she's done the last few games. In order for her to do that, Mereza has to get the ball in court. You can see the frustration starting to build now in Emily. Much better from the Frenchman, did well off the serve. Is his mother? In a tennis world filled with overzealous parents and mothers and fathers and all sorts of people there. The parents of Lindsay Davenport are a rare sight. Strong game, two games away now. This is a good point you make. Lindsay seems to be unaffected by her fame, her immense wealth, and whether or not she loses a tennis match. And I think her parents have got uh, a lot to be commended for. Yes, and at age 27 on the tour, played, been a pro for over 10 years now. You know, longevity has come into the equation. When you think of how many players are, are dipping out of the game, young, Hingis, Kornikova. Really is a great... Smith. Yeah. away and it's not the money that's keeping it going 17 million dollars worth of prize money That's when she's made the move forward. Yeah, well, she's really just come in on something that really isn't quite good enough here. Davenport already moving to this ball. Still a pretty decent pass. You come in on clay, it's got to hit the spot. a little bit in and out, particularly on that backhand, which is normally such a rich vein yeah. for her. And that for her is the key in this match, because that's where the majority of Davenport shots go. Her backhand to the Maresma backhand hasn't really stood up to the fire. Again.
Again, she read her so well. Might be a little lucky getting it exactly where she wanted it, but it was great control. She was on the move, and Marisma was shaping for the shot. Break point then. suspected it when the ball hit the net it's not going to be her day I'm afraid Emily Moresmo it's been a wonderful comeback week for her but it looks as if it ends right here you have to remember amidst all this what Emily has done this week mm. being out of the game since the end of January here she is mid-April making the comeback she beats the world's number one and there had to be a, a come down at some stage and it looks like it's happened today yeah I don't think you can say that she's played her best tennis I don't think she's been allowed to and I feel that the kind of matchup she has against Davenport with Davenport hitting hard and flat doesn't really suit her Emily would like to play proper clay court tennis as she would see the matchup against Enin Arden was perfect lots of top spin lots of time out here hasn't really ever been allowed to settle. I think you have to credit Davenport for that. But yes, she's back and she's been through an awful lot. I don't know how uh, how long she will be <laughs> with us on the tour, but um, she's you know she's certainly playing well enough, and it, it really doesn't look as if she's. In, I mean, I'd be shocked if she gets back in the second set, to be honest with you, because it'd be totally against the run of play. And I think Lindsay's had enough little slip-ups in the first and second set not to let her off the hook. Yes, it'll be interesting to see how long the Lindsay survives on the tour. I think the way she was feeling uh, mentally, if it had been a couple of years ago, I think it may well have uh, seen the end of her. I think the Davenport's had a new lease of life in the last year. Mm -hmm. Marriage may have had something to do with it. Maybe tennis getting tennis in proportion again. Not that she ever got it right out of proportion. She might be with us for a, a couple of years at least. She really has looked the business this week. of what a good player she is on her day. We just really haven't had enough of this, but when she does play this kind of tennis, you really feel possibly her best ch chance for slam is at the French Open. If she can control those nerves yeah. in Paris, that's the key, but her game really is so well suited to clay. terrific from Lindsay in that well I don't think at any stage in her career would she have been able to turn that into a winner but now she's fitter faster with all the nows yeah she seems to have read Marismo very well today Second flashing backhand. Really is a wonderful shot. There's not been enough of them, I'm afraid. <laughs> it looks determined. To not to make the same mistake as she did in the first set. 
had the double break lead in the end it was a hard ask championship point Make it easy for yourself. <laughs> it's the third in this game alone. So it's break point, Marisma, for the first of the two breaks she trails by. Well, certainly, Marisma looks a very good player. I guess this is a classic case, Sam, of. You take the pressure off, I and mean, she's virtually out of this match. She's hitting free, and she's hitting well. And she's had a few second serves to have a look at as well. Normally, if this was on a hard court, you'd probably see Davenport pull out four first serves and be walking up to the net, and it would all be over. Wasn't able to do that. And just a little bit more work for Davenport to do. Put Maresma away. Don't feel Maresma has served that well today, and that's allowed. That's, that's really taken the pressure off Davenport because I think Davenport knows if she drops the serve, yes, she always has a chance to get back into it straight away. <laughs> it's non-stop now. She can't hot stop hitting the lines or just inside them. Look at this. shows you what she can do and what sort of player she is when she really loosens up and doesn't worry about the score and where she is and who she's playing just plays the ball <laughs> if she carries on like this it could be dangerous except at some stage the pressure might kick in again She loved that. What a divine game. A couple of games from Amelie Moresmo. And the crowd loving it. She's made this second set a real contest like the first, but can she give it a different result? Well, I won't ask you to get your crystal ball out. No, thank you very much. <laughs> but it was. Very interesting to see Emily Marisma there, stress-free, and what she can achieve on a tennis court. That was the kind of tennis she was playing yesterday, throughout most of the match against Enin Arden, just really going for the lines. I feel she plays better when she's aggressive and goes for it. I think that, that helps get rid of the tension. And really now, Davenport only under pressure for the second time in the match, really. And under a little bit of pressure to serve the first set, actually got through that. This is a different proposition. I think the more you let someone back into the, into the match, the more difficult it becomes to close it out because a little bit of doubt can emerge and she's got to clear her mind now at the changeover. Well, she responded in the first set, didn't she? When she was exactly the same thing happened. She led by a couple of breaks. There was a break back. 
And then she served it out at 5-4. Can she do so again? I suspect that she can, but she's got Moresmo playing the best tennis that she's played in the match right now. Yeah, I'd really like to see Moresmo get on to some of these first serves. I mean, with Lindsay, you pretty much know where they're going to go. She goes for her favorite spots time and time again and just attack the second serve, take it early, because you, we've seen Lindsay sometimes a little static after the serve. If you can find the corners, you have a real chance. So an hour and 10 minutes. It's been uh, an absorbing match. It'll be one heck of a contest if Marismo can break again here. She looked to wrong foot Maresmo instead of which she was herself wrong footed. Oh. Well, she was aggressive, just couldn't get over it. Just not happening when she needs it right here. Here are three match points. She already had match point, remember, a couple of games ago. So match point number two. Keeping up, keeping the faith, keeping attacking. there. Title number 40 for the American. Her second title here at the Beauchamp Ron in Amelia Island. And Lindsay Davenport takes out Emily Moresmo. 6-4, 6-4. Wonderful week for Emily Moresmo, but he sensed she left her best tennis out on this court 24 hours ago. So, Davenport, champion here, seven years after she won it the first time. Beaming smile. Wasn't too difficult in the end. No, I felt she had a lot of confidence out here. She she had the control over her game that Moresmo didn't. I don't think Moresmo knew when she was going to play well or not. And Davenport winning all the important points. I, I think Moresmo will be a little disappointed, I anybody, I but I just feel that that yeah, will go very quickly okay. because she's had a great week. That's all you can oh, say. Yeah, she's yeah. back. Yes, I hear you. She's on the tour, and hopefully she can have a good run up to the French. How much time, but what Pam? A boost, what a booster for Davenport because she's never won the French. Maybe. I hear you. You never know. Stranger things have happened. There are the uh, bare stats. Resmo, good service stats, but she wasn't placing it as well as certainly Sam would like, or she herself. 19 winners, 19 unforced errors. Davenport with uh, a lot of winners, and they came at crucial times for her. She was the aggressor most of the time. And uh, an hour and 18 minutes, two identical sets. Tight, tight, tight. And 
And uh, Lindsay Davenport wins her second title of 2004. Winner in Tokyo, runner-up in Indian Wells, but has won here in Amelia Island. My thanks to Sam. Congratulations to Lindsay Davenport. And thank you for joining us here on British Eurosport.